What's up guys, so first of all, I would like to thank everyone for being so awesome and supportive since the last episode and I've actually decided to give you guys some more tips about trading. So usually people ask me how do I get this many trades. Look guys, uh, trading is about experiences, uh, you need to have a really good knowledge about the items uh, you are dealing with. Let's imagine a fake situation that you are casually trading on some unusual trading server. Now, let's say you own an unusual for sniper. Hmm, maybe something like uh, Must Fly's Desert Marauder. Now, someone offers you straight off Burning Solatopy, uh, which is a pretty nice hat. And what you know actually is that your hat is priced at 51 keys on backpack.tf. But when you actually check his hat, the Burning Solatopy, uh, backpack.tf says uh, it's worth 40 keys. So, technically, you would make an 11 key loss in this trade, uh, right? So as I mentioned not long ago, all you need is a great knowledge of what we are dealing with. Now normally some people would reject this offer because uh, simply of the backpack.tf price. However, it might not be as bad of an offer. So when I trade, I personally don't uh, ever use spreadsheets. But I usually think about this while trading. But just for the tutorial purposes, I will make a spreadsheet and show you what is going on in my mind when I'm dealing with unusuals. So basically when you try to investigate uh, any price of the hat, any hit uh, you like basically, uh, you need to know how to price check it correctly. So there isn't really anything hard on doing that. So let's go straight into it. So let's say I own the Must Flies Desert Marauder. Now, as I said uh, in the example not long ago, so how do I check price of any hat? It's pretty easy actually, just follow all these four steps. First of all, you need to check the backpack.tf price. For that, just go to backpack.tf, then go to pricing and under the unusual price list, click on the browse by item. After the page is loaded, just type name of your item and in this case we are looking for Desert Marauder, so we will type that. Click on the Desert Marauder and it will load yet another page. Look at the effects called uh, Must Flies. It's priced at 51 keys. However, when we look at the close effects like Steaming Blizzard Storm, I guess this effect uh, would go for around 20-ish keys. <laughs> However, there is one thing to keep in mind, that the Desert Marauder uh, with Must Flies effect is actually considered as a themed hat. So it's actually worth way more than 20 keys. And I will actually talk about team hats uh, in some of my future episodes. So anyways, uh, just by looking at this, we can already see that it's priced at 51 keys and there are actually 11 of them in existence. So let's click on it and we will get to the second step. So after the page is loaded, scroll down a bit and on the left corner you have the classifieds. It's basically what people ask on backpack.tf and uh, now all we can see is that one guy is asking for 40 keys pure, the other one is asking for 43 keys pure and the last guy is asking for 51 keys pure. But um, you need to look at it from the other side, they are looking for pure. What if any of them was offered some unusual worth like uh, 60 keys but they rejected it? Well we can't be sure so the only way to really find out is to check TF2 outpost for that. So we are now at the step number 3, all we have to do is just check TF2 outpost for the sellers. Just mouse over the desert marauder and click on the outpost button and it will do the old work for you. Then all you have to do is just go to each trade and check their notes for buyouts, then check their latest offers uh, below the trades and also check the CEOs, so the current offers the best offer they got. So after you're done, you should have a good image how much it sells for. And the last step is pretty much optional, but I would still recommend uh, to do it. At least uh, just for once, so you can remember it in future. Make a spreadsheet with your own opinions. Uh, basically, all you have to do is uh, create a spreadsheet or any kind of note, if you wish, and write down four columns. Minimum, maximum, amount in unusuals, and basically your buyout. So first of all, uh, go to the column, uh, the minimum amount. Uh, so basically the minimum amount we can get in keys. I would say the minimum amount for the um, Desert Mar rather would be around 37 keys pure and the maximum amount would be around 46 keys pure. And the value in unusuals, well, I would say we can easily get around 55 keys out of it. So our buyout should be somewhere in the middle. I would personally set uh, my buyout in this case at 47 keys pure 
However, I would also mention uh, in all my trades that I'm looking for unusual offers as well. So after all this, uh, all you have to do is just uh, do the same thing with the solar topi. And after that uh, you are done, uh, all you have to do is just compare both of these hats uh, together in terms of price. Now the solar top is actually getting offers uh, way better than the Marauder. And also you have to keep in mind that uh, the solar top is also uh, way more often because of the effect which is uh, obviously uh, burning flames. If I had the solar top I would personally look for around 50 keys pure and about 60 in unusuals. So at the end what does it mean? Well this trade is actually profitable. So in conclusion. Even though the Solatopy has a uh, 11 keys uh, lower price on backpack.ef, it still is getting sold for more and it's generally a good rate. And you shouldn't judge uh, uh, the hat just by backpack.ef price. You need to check uh, TF2 outposts and other trading sites and uh, you, need to, you need to have a really good knowledge of the items. Uh, so in future you don't really need to create these spreadsheets uh, but you can just set the price just by looking at the item itself. Now all I hope is that you can at least slightly understand how to price check any hat uh, correctly. Also guys I think I forgot to mention one more thing. Uh, the dupes and the duped hats in general. Um, I get these questions a lot. How do they affect the price of the hat if the item is duped? Well it doesn't basically. If you are dealing with items under I would say around 60 keys and less uh, just don't even bother checking if the hat is duped or not. Simply nobody cares if the hat is duped if it's under the 60 keys price range. Um, I mean it could possibly matter if uh, the hat you own is uh, like 100 keys and above. So yeah just keep in mind that uh, dupes doesn't matter. I wouldn't even bother checking it if it's duped. So yeah that's basically it. I'm afraid this is all for now, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to thumbs up, make sure to subscribe if not already and yeah that's basically it. So see you guys until the next one.